beats us to the punch. Congrats, what a BKFC debut. First round knockout, couldn't get any better than that, right? No, you cannot. Uh, I've trained hard for it. I sat on the five round war, I was meant to be fighting Luke Kelly. If you check him out, the guy's a beast. And that's what I was prepared for, a five round war, so I knew he wasn't going to last in the first round with us. Now we saw him go down with a body shot in the first round already early. Did you see the opening? Yeah, I've done a couple of feints to the head and i seen the body. It's what we were drawing there out back when we were warming up. The fan of the head, opened the body up, and as soon as the body was open, tried to defend the body and that, and opened up to the head. So after the first knockdown, you saw the end was near, I guess? I saw, I saw the end was there, yeah. I knew it was there. What was the experience like here? Big occasion, big KFC debut in Newcastle, a lot of fans. Were there any nerves for you? Absolutely amazing. I haven't competed since 2016. So obviously the audience is absolutely, well, the support I've had is absolutely amazing. I believe you haven't fought in several years right now, right? So how easy or challenging was it to get back in the ring? Well, I've been going to different gyms to get the spawn in, so basically all the way up to this fight, I've been having fights in the gyms are loads of different lads, so that was just another fight, just another heavy spawn session. Well, it didn't get that heavy. So you have an MMA background. How challenging was it to transition over to bare knuckle? I love having a scrap, so it wasn't much of a transition. I'm up there for a scrap anyways. What's it feeling like for anyone who doesn't know how it feels to connect with bare knuckles? Absolutely amazing. Free, freedom. What's the best about bare knuckle fighting? What do you love about the sport? It's, it's brutal. There's no way you can escape. In MMA, you look for takedowns if you're hurt or injured. If you're injured in this sport, you cannot hide from it. You've just got to dig deep and go for it. What's, what's your biggest strength as a fighter? I w I'd say I'm a pretty all-rounder. Obviously, I'm taking to this now, though. Now this is your sport, bare knuckle. You got, you're here to stay? Well, I think October's been next out with BKFC, so we'll see where it goes. So you feel healthy? There's nothing you can go right and back into training? It's fine. Everything's fine. I didn't take any heavy shots. Do you want to thank any sponsors, family, friends? Oh, I'll be here. I've got um, four seasons. I've got... Jasmine Property Developments, Gordon Sugutas, BM Electrical, Quality Retail Services, I've got Fitness 2000, I've got the guys at all tools out of Helpless, there's too many to mention, uh, Bells, I can't even think you pose on the spot with that one. Who do you want to call out now? Is there anybody specifically you want to face? I think just make me debut. I'm not going to be a cheeky <laughs> so calling people out. I don't think I've got the right, I need to earn me respect in the BKFC first before I start shouting names about. Otherwise, I just look like a I'm Paul Cook with Bare Knuckle News, and nobody beats us to the punch.